The CPI print is in, and to no one's surprise, it just keeps climbing. I'm Natalie Brunel for Bitcoin Magazine, and although Bitcoin's price actually dipped as the new inflation numbers came in, I can't imagine a better time to own inflation-resistant money. Now, the CPI is at 7.9%, the biggest spike since 1982, hitting a new 40-year high. And sadly, we've seen some of the media and political narrative evolve from inflation is transitory, to inflation is good, to inflation is because of corporate greed, to inflation is because of Putin and the current geopolitical war. It's important to note that back in 1982, when we last saw a spike of inflation this high, the federal funds rate was 12%, double digits. Today, the federal funds rate is a quarter of a percent, and bonds are earning negative yields against inflation. So as our bond and Bitcoin expert Greg Foss put it in, on Twitter, hashtag learn math. Pomp tweeted, inflation or recession, pick your poison. And that really hits the nail on the head of the Fed's position between a rock and a hard place. The economy in the U.S. has slowed considerably, so it will be difficult to hike rates meaningfully into that and could potentially set off a recession or a credit unwind. But they need to do something to combat the inflation, so they need to find a way to reduce the balance sheet. Still, some analysts are predicting we will instead see double-digit inflation by the summer. And these numbers are really having an impact on people's lives. Look at this tweet from Charlie Bolello showing the price increases of all the things that hit close to home for American consumers. Used cars are up more than 40%. Gas up 38%, utilities 23%, meat, fish, and eggs 13%. This is really hitting families hard. And this is why Bitcoiners are so passionate about sounding the alarm on fiscal policy that is inflationary, that has continued to print money and go further into debt and then blame everyone else but themselves for the growing problems. Bitcoin may still be choppy, but not as choppy as the waters ahead for the Fed. For more headlines, head to bitcoinmagazine.com.